So of course, as soon as I start to go, it starts raining. Like literally the second I open the door, it just went. So yeah, thanks guys. <laughs>to a recovery week which I imagine it's gonna be so yeah I'm gonna go for a 5k today to make it at least a mile for every day in November and that'd be really, really cool because it is the 30th of November today um, but yeah I've got my beast medals here so that is one well, that is for doing the beast which is um, all the miles, like add in a mile every day, and then I also got a November challenge medal, and that's for running at least a mile every day for 30 days. So, yeah, super happy with those, they're really cool. That's a great challenge. The shins are just so swollen, it's unbelievable. Um, like on my right foot, you pretty much like can't make up my ankle, and it's very painful. I have no mobility in my feet whatsoever literally none so like if you look at my if you look at my nice green socks green so so we go from here that's as far down as i can move it and that's as far up so that is all the movement i have in my foot that's it no, nothing more <laughs> so yeah so that is a, a problem and now it's really painful like i can feel that so yeah so one more run and then and then i'm done so that's good but yeah yeah it's just kind of kind of fun uh just to see how far i can push it see how well this recovers now i mean i don't think i'm injured i think it's just tight and just massively overuse so yeah i i need to stretch more like way more so i'm getting better at that but it's good so i'm gonna go for a 5k in a bit i've got a bit of a headache this morning which is a bit weird and i haven't slept well since the end of the challenge but hopefully as things go throughout this week, I'll start to get into a bit of a pattern. I was just so overtired all last week, the whole week. So it was really difficult and just really sort of like struggling to sleep all the time and just get any sort of like routine. So hopefully this week I can just fall back into a routine and yeah, and just feel all right. I will go in the gym today later on. I don't know if I'm going to do legs, I might try and do some squats and see how I feel but I just don't know what my stability is going to be like on my ankles or anything like that so it might be a really bad idea but yeah we'll, we'll give some squats a go, just really light to start off with and see if it doesn't go well then we'll just do some, uh, some bench press and things like that and uh, I'll probably just call it a day there, just a nice easy, just work myself back into the gym and then, and then go for it. So of course as soon as I start to go, it starts raining. Like literally the second I open the door, it just went. So yeah, thanks guys. Um, this is it, last one. This is it, 5K, and I've done at least a mile every day in November. So yeah, yeah, super happy with that. Let's, uh, let's just go get it done. It's gonna be painful. My legs are super swollen. <laughs> um, but yeah, just just do it, get it done. It's probably gonna take like half an hour. Um, in the wet and then and then yeah and then I could just say that I've done it kind of but yeah cool right I will see you in a bit so that was pretty painful <laughs> that was a uh, 5k in like 28 minutes I think. So if I average 905, it's just saving that. But yeah, shins are just absolutely wrecked. It's just getting it so painful. But yeah, that's it. Every day, November done. 28, 13 hours. Oh well. Uh, yeah, at least a mile every day. The last 32 days I've run 471 miles. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, pretty happy with that. Time for some recovery, I think. Good morning. So, it's like 
quarter seven on Tuesday. And it's a swim day today, so it's Thursday of not running for 32 days. We're going for swim instead, that should be good. I'm going to see if I can steal a pool boy so I don't have to use my legs because my legs are dead. Hello, I have not really spoken at all today. And when I say not really, I mean I haven't, other than now. Um, yeah, so physio this morning was really good. Lots of swelling in the legs and basically been told to stay off running for like a week to 10 days just to let the swelling go down because otherwise I can basically uh, develop carpal tunnel syndrome, I believe, which, um, yeah, it's not great. But um, yeah, so I've got my uh, massive document. Ridiculous, like really stupid. But yeah, that's just to get some compression and to try and get the swelling out. But like before I went, you couldn't see my ankle. And then after the session, basically an hour of pain of just like pretty much just massaging everywhere it hurt. Um, yeah, you could like see my ankle at the end of it, which is really good. So it's just all about that as much as I can. I've done a good stretching session. I was meant to swim tonight, but the uh, swimming was cancelled, unfortunately. They phoned me an hour beforehand uh, and said that it was cancelled, so that's a shame. Um, so yeah, so just done an extra bit of stretching. Um, just got that in, but I'm just gonna have an early night, just take it easy. And then, yeah, tomorrow I'll probably get on the bike, I guess. Yeah, I imagine that's what's going to happen. It's probably going to be a bike day. Easy bike, and I imagine, yeah, I'm going to go for a push session in the gym, because uh, that'd be good, because I couldn't hit uh, legs in the gym just because the swelling was, and I was so unstable, I can't squat at all. My, my squat is absolutely awful. <laughs> I had to, when I was stretching earlier, I had to do a squat. It was terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, so yeah, so as the swelling goes down and I get my mobility back, that will be very nice. But that's pretty much it, so yeah, I'm gonna pretty much call it a day. How's it going? So, I've barely spoke this week. It's been a bit of a weird week. The shin's been super bad, just like really swollen. The swelling's only now, I'm just going down. She's been incredibly painful, it's still very painful. Um, so I've barely been doing anything. I was meant to swim, but that got cancelled on Wednesday. Um, and it got cancelled really late and I ended up just not going or doing anything else. I have had a really good week of planning. That's been good. Planning next year's training plan. And really going in depth into the period periodization of the training and looking at the races that I want to enter. Fingers crossed that they go ahead with everything COVID, but hopefully with the vaccine, things should be looking good. But yeah, I, th I, think, I think if everything goes ahead, I've got a good idea of a training plan in mind, which is not just running. There's a, a, a swim in there, which I'll do, um, which I'll hopefully, if, if I can, um, get a lot of swim training in. Hopefully I can sort of place quite well, maybe like top 20, top 10, something like that. That would be really, really good. I'd be really excited if that happened. A um, few ultra marathons, obviously the 100 miles, um, and, uh, and then an Ironman, um, and that would be fun. So yeah, uh, quite a lot next year, which is looking quite good. So I will I'll show you that training plan tomorrow and uh, you'll see that in next week's video and I'll just show you how I'm digging into that what I'm doing yeah so I'm gonna call it here for the week so thank you very much for watching I'm sorry I haven't really done much this week it's just been one of those weeks it's like the most mega recovery week ever but yeah we'll be back at it soon there will be some running to be had in December uh, we've got some pretty icy roads at the moment so that makes it exciting but yeah, I will get out there soon because I'm, I'm pretty much itching to run all the time anyway, which is which is good. The motivation is always there. I shall see you next week. Wicked. Mm -hmm.